Good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Carrie, Anita, Ed, Monica, nice to see you. Welcome. Amazing. Ah, happy Sunday, everyone that's out there with me live. Welcome to anyone that's catching this recording. Um, yeah, I'm just ready to flow this morning. Kind of was like feeling like I don't want to flow, but now my body's like saying, I think we're ready. So I'm just, um, I don't really know what we're going to do today. Let's just go with the flow. Um, move your body, listen to when you need rest, listen to when you can actually add in a little bit more challenge where that fits for you. And we'll see where the flow takes us this morning. So just before I forget to mention, my new website is live. So check that out. It's www, like we've got to say that, plantbasedfoodbites.com. So check it out and see. I do virtual cooking classes. They're going to be happening every Thursday night now, moving forward for the next foreseeable future. And there's ways to book privates and do wellness coaching and stuff with me on there as well. So I uh, would love to see some of you in your kitchens cooking with me. Um, this Thursday, I believe, is an Indian, Indian cooking class. So we're going to start in child's pose, and we will just move our bodies and, you know, do what you need to do. Take your knees wide. Sit back onto your heels. And just start by becoming more intentional in your breathing. Long inhales, long exhales through the nose. Breathe in. Breathe out. Do that again. Fill up your lungs. Empty. One more, your biggest breath in. Let it out through your mouth. <sighs> Tabletop. As you exhale, curl the toes under, cat pose, round your back, pull your belly in. Inhale, cow, chest forward, look up. And cat, press and round. Cow. Cat. One more cow pose. Breathe in. And then press back. Downward facing dog. Spread your fingers and your toes. Get really grounded in your hands and your feet here. Feel out your body in this first down dog. Pedal out your knees. <clears throat> Wiggle out elbows and shoulders. Just really kind of checking in with where there might be some tension in your body as you start the practice. Generating that awareness so you can work with it for this next 55 minutes or so. Take a big breath in. Feet hip distance apart. Ground down through both of your heels. Press towards your mat. Long inhale, long exhale. Lift up onto your toes, bend your knees, step to the top of your mat, halfway lift, and ragdoll. Interlace the arms, let your upper body dangle down. Get into your feet. As often as you can during this practice, really put the focus on grounding back into your physical body. Less work in your mind, less work in your head. More work in your hands, your feet, your muscles, your joints. It's giving yourself space from that drift of thoughts. I don't know about all of you out there, but it's that time of year for me where I'm just like finally done with winter. I love winter and I'm over it at this point. We just got like another 20 centimeters in Toronto the other day, right after it had melted for a couple of days. 
and I'm ready to see grass and spring and all of that is true. And like right now, there's space from all of that, just by accessing physicality and movement. Take a deep breath in. Fingertips to your mat. Bring your big toes back to touch. Come up to a flat back on the inhale, stretch the spine. And fold. Extended mountain pose, sweep up, big reach. And fold, hug into your legs. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. Lift your breath. Upward facing dog, lift your chest forward. Downward facing dog, hips back. And a full breath in. And a full breath out. Soften elbows and knees, keeping the joints malleable, fluid. Inhale, ground down, lift up, bend the knees, look forward, step between your hands, halfway lift, and fold, extended mountain, reach up to the ceiling, fold, hug into your legs, lengthen the spine. Chaturanga Dandasana, moving with your breath. Upward facing dog, lift the chest forward. Downward facing dog, hips back. Long inhale, press down, pull in, lift up onto your toes, bend your knees, look forward, get to the top of your mat, lengthen the spine as you breathe in. And fold. Extended mountain. Go up and go back. Fold. Hug in. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Fold. Inhale. Full exhale. With your lungs empty, bend your knees, get to the top of your mat, move there, flat back right away. And fold. Extended mountain up and back, pull the belly in. Fold. Halfway lift. Utkatasana, stay here, chair. Weight back into the heels, sink your shin bones back. Pull the upper arm bones back. Breathe in. Lift your 10 toes, spread your 10 toes and ground down through the mounds of your feet. Inhale together. Sit deeper. Lift your chest. Descend down into your seat. Two more. Strong breath, strong gaze. Press down, reach up, and then fold, hug into the legs. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana with breath. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Step your right foot into warrior one. Reach up and land. Full inhale. Full exhale. Plug the right hip back. Pull it back. Pull the left hip forward. And from here, sink deeper in the front knee. Expand through the upper body. Reach. Long breath in. Long breath out. One more big inhale. Chaturanga Dandasana flow. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, left foot, warrior one, reach for it, 
and land. The tendency will be for that left hip to come forward. Pull it back. Keep the hips squared. Press into the four corners of both feet and descend down in the lunge. Together. Breathe in. And out. Press your feet. Pull the pit of your belly in. Lift your fingers up. Go a little deeper. One more big breath right here. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Spread out your fingers and toes. Pull the pit of your belly and then press back through your tailbone. Feel that stretch through the back side of the body. Inhale. Melt your chest closer to the floor. A couple more. Breathe in. Press down. Lift up. Pull in. Bend your knees. Hop or step forward. Flat back. Fold. Chair, one breath, reach up, fold, lengthen the spine, chaturanga dandasana, flow it out, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, warrior one, right side, reach up, reach back, chaturanga dandasana, you might float your right toes, up dog, down dog, left side, warrior one. Go for full expression on the inhale. Chaturanga Dandasana, float your left toes as you go. Upward facing, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Open your mouth and empty it out. <sighs> Do that again, full inhale. Dump it out. <sighs> Lift up onto your toes, bend your knees, pause, lightly hop forward, flat back, and fold, chair, fold, flat, and flow. Upward facing, downward facing dog, warrior one, right side, reach up, open warrior two, flip and reverse, peaceful warrior, stretch back, chaturanga dandasana, float your right toes, up dog, down dog, left side, dancing warrior, inhale to warrior one, Open to warrior two, reverse, go back, chaturanga dandasana, breath to move your body, toes gonna hover, up dog, down dog, again on the right side, warrior one, warrior two, reverse back, chaturanga dandasana, Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, moving with breath, left side, go up, open to warrior two, reverse, peaceful warrior, big side body stretch, chaturanga dandasana, upward facing, downward facing, right side again, go for it, breathe in. Open to warrior two. This time interlace your hands at your low back. Humbled warrior, come down. You can rest your right shoulder on your right knee. Let your knuckle come up towards the ceiling. Breathe in. Lunge deeper in that front knee. If you want even more work, bring your right shoulder to the inside of your right knee. Let go of your head. Press into your feet. Inhale, exhale, 
Breathe in. Sink deeper. Take another big full inhale. Chaturanga Dandasana. Plant the hands. Lower down as you breathe out. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side. Warrior one. Reach up. Warrior two. Interlace the hands at your low back. Humbled warrior. Come down. Find a nice deep lunge. Find nice strong legs. If you want to add more, shoulder to the inside of the knee. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more. Fill. And empty. Fullest breath. Stay. <laughs> I don't think so, Mr. B. Hands to your breath, Matt. Step back. Hide a little plank. We're going to do one of these mornings. Upward facing dog. Upward facing dog. You're a goof. Get to your bed. Now's not the time, young man. Go to your bed. I don't think so. We're not killing a fox right now. Thank you. Lie in your bed. Good. Nice work, buddy. Lie down. You just made Una go crazy. Lie down. Lie down. Thank you. Good. Bring your feet together at the back of your mat. Take a breath in. Root your heels down. Lift the right foot up. Bend your knee and stack your hips. I don't remember the last time Mr. B got playful during yoga. He normally just sleeps. We're going to stay in three-legged dog right here. Or... Flip your dog. Let that right foot fall gently behind you. Feet point to the back of your mat. Lift your hips up. Reach your right fingertips forward. Full breath in. Full breath out. One more. Take it a bit higher. High plank on the exhale. Inhale, side plank. Take the left hand up. You can stagger your feet one in front of the other. You can stack them. You can lift the top leg. You can drop the bottom knee. Wherever you're going, take on full expression. Inhale. Exhale. Press down. Lift up. Take one more big breath right here. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Feet together. Exhale. Press down the heels. Lift your left foot up. Three-legged dog. Stack the left hip over the right. And then option to stay here or to flip your dog. Lightly land feet parallel, pointing back. Press up the hips. Reach forward the left fingers. Inhale. Exhale. For two. Squeeze and go higher. Take one more breath in, high plank, side plank, right arm up, baby, lie down, go to your bed and lie down, please, just chill out, I see that glint in your eye, you're not killing your fox toy right now, thank you very much, lift your leg up, everybody, go into your fullest expression, breathe in, breathe out, two more, Find it, squeeze and lift in. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breathe in together. Sigh it out. <sighs> right foot between your hands, crescent lunge. Come up. Keep the back heel lifted nice and high. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your core, hands to heart center. Inhale and twist. Hook the left elbow to the right knee. Press your palms and leverage that twist. Shoulder blades back. Breathing deep. Inhale. Exhale. Lengthen and twist. One more. Hold it. Squeeze in. Warrior two. Open up. Settle in, soften the shoulders, soften your face, firm up your legs.
breathe in. And breathe out. See your front middle finger. Just feel the lunge deepen. Full inhale, full exhale, extended side angle. Reach forward, take right elbow to knee, left arm up, and breathe here. Inhale, and exhale. Any variation, you can take the left hand onto your lower back, half bind. You can have the right hand on the ground or a block. Maybe full bind. That's in your practice. You reach back for those fingers behind your back. Leverage that. Squeeze. Shoulders back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more. Fill your lungs. Deep in your lunge. Take one more inhale. Hands to your mat. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out, left foot up, crescent lunge, step through, staying in the flow, inhale up, sink down into that front knee, breathe in, hands to heart center, and twist, right elbow to left knee, keep lifted in the back heel, yeah, take it nice and high, twist it out, three, Two. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Warrior two. Open up. Land. And steady your gaze forward. Soften into it. The legs are working. They're strong, but there's an ease in the body as well. Let go of tension that doesn't need to be there. And firm up the areas that need to work. Breathe in. Breathe out. Just a couple more. Press down. Squeeze. Fullest inhale. Fullest exhale. Extended side angle. Take the right hand up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Any variation might be a bind and take the fingertips down just play with where you can go right here take another three breaths in and out lengthen twist one more breathe in stay for the breath out Hands to your mat. Inhale as you step back. High plank. Low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Long inhale. Empty it out. Up onto your toes. Bend your knees. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Fold, fingers to toes, scoop up your big toes, let go the weight of your head. Soften into it. Long inhale, long exhale. One more. Toe heel your feet back to touch. Come up to chair pose and twist to the right. Stay grounded through both feet. Press into the four corners and then twist the upper body. Breathe in. That left knee might try to pop forward. Pull it back. Keep the knees in line. Keep the hips in line. Take a breath in. Twist a bit deeper. Center. Stay in your seat. Go right to the other side. Chair twist to the left. Pressing the feet down. Pulling the shoulder blades back. Breathe in. Breathe out. This guy this morning. Lengthen and twist. <laughs> Take a breath in. Twist it out and fold. Mr. B, come here. Hey, come here. Over here. I know I'm not engaging in that. Just come over here. Hey. 
Wow. All right. Let's get some kind of Rottweiler. We're just going to ignore. He's much less um, engaged if you ignore him. Apologies out there if that's distracting. Carrie, if you have dogs dancing around you right now, my apologies. <laughs> Take a breath in, everybody. We're in gorilla pose if you missed that. Feet are wide, palms underneath your feet. Mr. B has the attention span of a goldfish, so it doesn't take long for him to give up on that kind of stuff. Just let go. I don't know if you saw that. He did a pretty epic uh, fox flip there. If you got to go back and check the recording out at some point. <laughs> Threw it up in the air. I think you might have caught it. Hey, Mr. B, just relax, man. Think a bit deeper into your gorilla pulls. Just let go. Anywhere that there's tension, maybe hearing the dog play, put some tension into your body. Maybe not. Let's check in. Where can you bring more ease, less resistance? Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Feeling like a crow this morning. We don't often do this on the Sundays anymore. So with crows, taking a step back, and you'll come down, hands are about shoulder width apart. You'll bring your knees to the backs of your triceps. You can take crow right here with your toes on the ground. This is like step one. You can have your toes on a block as a prop to get them up higher. That can really help if you're new to the pose. Option to start to shift forward. Maybe one or both feet come off the ground. Pressing in, lifting up, inhale, exhale, couple more, squeeze. Hold in, Chaturanga Dandasana, little plank, upward facing dog, oh, downward facing dog, so good, lift up onto your toes, bend your knees, step to the top of your mat, halfway lift, fold forward, sweep up, eagle on the right side, yeah, right arm under, right leg over, hug in. You are a piece of work this morning. We're not playing right now. What is with this? No. <laughs> Let me just get every 20 and try to get your attention down. How about that? Sink down into your eagle pose. He's got a bone right now. If you hear weird crunchy noises, that's him off camera. So let's just let him enjoy his life. Sweep your arms up. Eagle on the left side. Again, he doesn't have much of an attention span. <laughs> That's for long. Breathe in. Sink down into your standing leg. Full inhale. Full exhale. Breathe deep. Hug in. Sweep up. Take dancer on the right side. Reach back to the inside of the right foot, right ankle. Kick into your hand. Create lift in that back leg. Stay lifted through your chest, too. So instead of dipping down just to get the foot higher, keep everything integrated. Core strong. Plug in the left shoulder. Breathe in. Breathe out. For three. For two. One more big breath. And release. Switch sides. Take a dancer on the left. He's like chewing his bone and making deep, penetrating eye contact with me at the same time. I see you. I'm not interested in playing with your bonesy game right now. Thank you, sir. <laughs> he is so cute. It's painful sometimes. Breathe in. Dancer on the left side. Sorry for the distraction. He's just adorable. I can't help it sometimes. Three breaths in and out. Kick back, lift up, full expression. Feel it in your body, feel it in your breath, and release tree on the right side. Press foot and leg into one another. Really ground, really powerfully press down through that left foot. Feel the mount of your big toe, the mount of your pinky toe, inner ankle, outer ankle. 
And from that connection to the earth, create growth and expansion in the upper body. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep reaching. Keep expanding. It's like imagining spring so close, branches growing, fullest expression right here. Big, big breath in, big breath out. Last one, take it on and switch sides. Tree on the left. Steady your gaze, set up that foot. Right foot here is grounding. Left foot pressing in. You feel that connection at center. Leg and foot connected. It's not just foot pushing leg. Resist it with your leg. Pull the pit of your belly in and then grow your tree. Let your branches expand, unfurl. Breathe. Three more. One more breath in, stay for the breath out, and release down. Take your arms up, fold forward, halfway lift, chaturanga dandasana, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, Right foot, warrior one. Step through. Open, warrior two. Straighten that front leg. Come here, come here. Don't even look at it. No, come here. Triangle pose. You just relax right there. There we go. That's great. Let's do this. We'll distract you. Distract you from the fox. Chill dogs are better than Rottweilers killing their stuffy toys, okay? People don't want to hear that when they're in yoga, like you, young man. You're in triangle or you're petting your cute dog. One or the other is fine. You can do both at the same time, maybe. I don't know how this is going to work in a second here, but we'll just work with them for a while. He hasn't been this. Anyone that comes for these Sunday classes, this was very normal back in like 2020 when we started doing these. He was like always crazy. You can go back and watch some of those recordings, which are always interesting. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a while since he had any any interest in what's happening. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Hands down to your mat, take pyramid. So you'll step the back foot in part way, working around your Rottweiler, just let your upper body fold over your right leg. It's just so cute, it's crazy. Look at you, you're out of control, cute man. Yeah. Breathe in, breathe out, halfway lift, take twisted triangle, right hand on your lower back, twist the upper body towards the right side of your mat, keep pressing through both your feet, long inhale, long exhale, one more breath, hold it, hands to your mat, step back, high plank, watch out for your dog, low plank, Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. <laughs> Step into warrior one on the left side. You're a piece of work, mister. Warrior two, trikonasana, straighten the front leg, come down. Lean back, the right hand up, left hand either to a block or to your front shin. Draw the right shoulder blade back, inhale, exhale. Reach and twist. See your top hand. Draw the shoulder back. One more. Twist open. And then bring your hands down. Pyramid pose. Step the back foot in as much as you can to get the heel down. Let your upper body go. This is only going to work for a couple more seconds here, Mr. B, as cute as you are. 
I can't really do back bends with the dog in the middle of my mat, you know. Good boy, clean up. Twisted triangle, right hand down, left hand to your lower back. Full breath in, twist the upper body. Inhale together, exhale together. Take another breath and twist. Step back to high plank, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Hey, yeah, I'm facing you. Can you go to your bed for me? What about going to bed? What do you think? You go to your bed? Refuses. Go to your bed. I don't know. Okay, that works. Cool. We'll take it. All the dog hair on my yoga mat. Cool. Come down to your belly, everybody. I do apologize for this. It's one of those sorry, not sorry kind of situations, though. He's just so cute. I don't like to be rude to him if he's being playful. Rest one cheek on your mat. I know some of you out there come for the Mr. B show, so yeah, you're welcome to those people. <laughs> just let yourself rest for a moment. And just really soften in, feel your heartbeat, feel your body relaxing, wherever there might be some tension, residual from the practice, or even maybe that you walked into your practice with. Let it go. Just being aware that there's tension in your body, that there's resistance to what's happening around you, yeah? It creates tension when you're resistant to, to reality. Switch your opposite cheek down. And it's in reference to like wanting spring. Like we're actually tomorrow. It's a month until spring tomorrow. So that's something to be grateful for. And I know here in Canada, it'll probably still be snowy and stuff. Like we never know what to expect in March or even in April for that matter. So just getting frustrated, being resistant to what's actually happening just makes the experience that much more unpleasant to survive through. Chin to center, lift up to locust pose. Spring will come, it always does. Life will come back, greenery will come back, warmth will come back. Some of you might be in places that stay warm and green all the time, amazing for you. I actually love winter, I really do. But it gets to a point, come all the way down. I'm just ready to go for a nice long walk with the dog again and get it into the sun. And fixating on that is getting stuck in the future or even in the past, maybe remembering past summers, past springs, how great it is. And like having the moment of how great it is, that's perfect remembering that, being grateful for it. Anticipation can be okay. It's like the waiting, the impatience, the disappointment. Disappointment is just like, you know, the appointment being later than you want it to. It's a timing thing. Come back to center. Bound locus, interlace your hands. Just checking in when you get upset about the timing being off. I definitely was in that work for my website. It took forever, like forever. And it's still not great, to be honest, the timing, the speed of it. And it's just an ongoing practice of coming back. That's yoga, present. What's happening today? What is there to be grateful for in this moment? Come down. Breaks you free of the past and the future when you're actually in this moment appreciating it. floor bow, bend your knees, reach for your ankles, kick back into your hands, lift up as high as you can, we're just doing this one today, knees towards center, shoulder blades onto your back for five, keep kicking and lifting, you can take like a little front rock front to back, a little bit more work there, use core, use your glutes, your legs for three, for two, 
on this inhale, go as high as you can, and then come all the way down. Upward facing dog, right away. Ground your palms, lift your chest forward. Downward facing dog. Come onto your back. So much dog hair. Bridge your wheel. Lift up. Ground through your feet. Lift through your hips. Lift through your chest. Feel that at the same time. Last week we did some extra heart openers for the Valentine's Day practice. And it's like always in bridge or wheel, feeling the heart center, feeling the chest as part of the pose. The focus can tend to be on the legs because they're doing so much work, especially in bridge. Feel the sternum, the center of your chest lifting up. Do that. Plug your shoulder blades together underneath you. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stay right where you are if you're in bridge or if you want wheel, just take it on. You can come down if you need to or just set it up and go right up. 10 breaths. This is the last 10 breaths in back bend. So whatever you want to do, any variation you have, play with it. Express in it. Inhale. Exhale. Eight more. Generous breaths. Fill. And empty. For six. Five. Last four. And three. Two. Fullest expression right here. And release. Supta Bhada Konasana. Soles of your feet together, knees wide. <sighs> right hand on your belly, left hand on your heart. Close your eyes if you feel comfortable doing that. And just rest here. Think of something right in this moment to be grateful for about today. You can do gratitude about things in the past, gratitude about things coming up in the future. That's also an option. And like right about today, right here. I know the easiest one for me to always remember is like my heart is beating. My lungs are breathing. My brain is working. Things we take for granted that just happen. Things that some people don't take for granted, that they don't always have that heart working properly, lungs working properly, brain working properly. That's something to be really grateful for. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Take another breath. Knees together. Draw them into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And take your feet up to the ceiling. Hands behind your head. Lower the right heel just off the mat. Keep your shoulders lifted off the mat as much as you can, activating more core. And you'll start to alternate here. Scissor legs for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathing, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep going. Option to add the twist with the upper body. With the legs straighter. If you really want bicycle twists, go for that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty more. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last ten, nine, eight, seven, core strong, five, four, three, two, and one, happy baby, grab the upsides of your feet, pull down, sway from side to side, breathe in, open your mouth, let it go, grab the backs of your knees, rock up to sit, take Navasana, five breaths, any variation of boat, you can have your knees held with your hands, you can extend legs and arms, upward facing boat, you get your toes or your feet, and extend up through the legs, breathe in, breathe out, for three, chest lift, shoulders strong, belly in, two more, hold it, last one right here, and rock back, make your way up to downward facing dog, and then you'll move into half pigeon on the right side. Settle into it. Find your breath again. It can be a little bit more natural, the breathing. It doesn't have to be quite so fiery. So intentional. Where can you let go of resistance? Right here in your body. Maybe some thought, some belief. Just identify where there's resistance, creating tension. And what can you do in this moment just to soften that even a little bit? Settle in. Find your breath. Deep inhale and a deep exhale. Switch sides, half pigeon on the left, however you get there. There is essentially as you can land, reset, just breathe. Practice of yoga is presence. How often when you're doing a yoga practice are you thinking about something from the past or what you have to do in the future? You lose the practice in that moment. That's not yoga. It's just poses. It's just breathing. It's an ongoing practice everywhere in your life. How often are you actually present to what's happening in front of you, being grateful for, appreciating it? learning the lesson from it, and how often are you filtering it through comparison from the past, fear or worry of the future? It's not bad if that's what you do, if that's your default, like that's the way our brains are programmed. 
the work of yoga, creating space, creating freedom from the drift of thinking, disrupting it, getting access to the present moment, actually getting to live in it. A deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Sweep your legs out in front of you. Take a seated forward bend. Sit bones back. Fold over your legs. Really tuck the belly in, tuck the chin, and go as deep as you can. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again, an inhale. And exhale. One more, take it a little bit deeper. Hmm. Come onto your back. Waterfall with either your hands or a block supporting your hips. Or you can take shoulder stand and get the hips up over your heart. Press the back of your skull down and support the neck. Breathe. Inhale, exhale, stay here, we'll move to plow if you're going there. Option to bring knees to ears. Inhale, exhale. Again, a full breath in, a full breath out, one more. And as you exhale, make your way slowly down onto your back. Extend the left leg long, draw the right knee into your chest. Draw the right knee down towards your right armpit for a moment. Do that, use both hands, pull it down and out, stretch that. And then take left hand to draw the right knee across the body. Gaze over your left shoulder. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again. Stay in twist. Come back to center. Hips to the left. Switch legs. Pull the left knee in. Draw it down towards the armpit to start here just for a moment. Feel that stretch. Inhale, and cross over the body, supine twist. Long breath in. Long breath out, deepen it. Take another inhale, another exhale. Come back to center. Give your knees a squeeze. Right knee a kiss, left knee a kiss, love on your body. Give it one more squeeze in and release. Final Shavasana in stillness and quiet. Just let your mind land, let your body land in stillness. Deep rest. <sighs> from journey to the heart. 
Let love be. You can't control love. It's impossible. It's like screaming and screeching and begging a rose to unfold faster, better, or differently. Love is an energy, an active living force that runs its threads through all of life, through all of the universe. But we can't control love. It's not in its nature to be controlled. It's futile to stand with our hands in our pockets and heels dug into the ground saying, I shall control the course of love, or I shall allow another to control me because I'm afraid love will go away. We can open our hearts and let love run through us. We can open our hearts and receive love. We can open our eyes and see universal love all around us in places we never even saw it before. We can awaken our souls and see that all experiences have been lessons of love. Learning courage, faith, patience. Learning to love ourselves when it looked and felt as if no one else did. Learning to express our creativity, express our emotions, and experience joy. Each one has been a lesson of love. Learn to let love be and be open to what that is and the new direction it may lead us. Love is a powerful living force that permeates the universe and funnels through us. We don't lead it. It leads and guides us. Honor the guidance of your heart and you will be honoring the guidance of love. Take a deep breath in, open your mouth, sigh it out, <sighs> wiggle fingers and toes, take a full body stretch. And with your eyes still closed, come up to a seated position, sit tall with your hands at heart center, press into your heart center with your thumbs. Take a deep breath in, let it go. Thumbs to the center of your forehead. The love and the guidance in me acknowledges the love and guidance in each of you. We bow together. Thank you. Have an awesome rest of your day. Um, check out my website, plantbasedfoodbites.com. I would love to see some of you in your kitchens and cook with you. Yeah, and just like, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Keep coming back every Sunday and moving with me. Keep moving your body, keep nourishing your body, and stay connected to a daily mindfulness practice. And I will see you again really soon. This guy's finally sleeping over there, so I'm just gonna let him be. Thank you for showing up and flowing with me live. <laughs> yes, he's definitely if he's nothing else, he's entertaining. That is for sure. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Thanks, Anita. Thanks, Ed. Have an awesome day. <laughs> he's very much fun, that's for sure. Hopefully Carrie out there. Carrie's got some dog groupies that are fans of Mr. B, so I hope she got her practice in without being too distracted. <laughs> All right, I'm going to end it here. Have an awesome day, everybody. I will see you soon.